In Lyric 8.7, there is a new optional feature called the Data Object. This is part one of how you can data bind objects in a Lyric scene. For this example, we will go through a series of sponsor logos. First, let's add an image to Lyric's canvas from the Sponsor Logo folder and move it to the lower right part of the screen. Let's rename the logo in the scene graph to Sponsor Logo. It will make it easier to find when binding it later on. Put the logo in a group and then add it to the effect in. Create a nice effect bringing the logo onto the screen by adjusting the first keyframe to move the logo off the screen. And then at, one, at the one second mark, reset the animation parameters and let's add an ease in of one second. So right click on that keyframe, modify keyframe attributes, select ease, ease in, and one second. Now create another timeline tab and we'll name it Loop Sponsors. In the effect in, let's add an event activation at the five second mark that will trigger the Loop Sponsors tab. So at five seconds, add a new event select Activation, and from the Active Transitions, select Loop Sponsors. Notice the new Data Object in the Events section. We will get to that shortly. Rename the event to Trigger Loop Sponsors, so it is easier to see in the scene graph. Record this scene to number 1. Now there's a new tool on Lyric's toolbar called Data. At the one frame mark on the timeline, click on the Data tool, which opens up the Data Object Settings dialog. For this tutorial, we're using images at the available source. Click Images and navigate to the Lyric Training 2014 Images and Sponsors folder, and click OK. You will now see all the logos in the list. Use the pull-down arrow to select the sponsor logo that we renamed at the start as the object to data bind to. Add the data command in the event properties and from the available choices we're going to select move first. This tells the data object to go to the first sponsor logo in the folder. Now move the timeline to frame 2 and add the data command again. Now select update from the data command. Move the timeline to frame 3 and add the data command again. We now want the data object set to display. This is a good procedure to follow. Move first, update, and then display. Record the scene to number two. Now move to the Loop Sponsors timeline and we will add the data object again to that timeline tab. Because it is not there, Lyric is going to prompt us to add it. And as before, move the timeline down to frame one, Add the data command again, and this time we don't want to move first because that was already done in effect in. So this time select move next, which moves to the next sponsor logo in the folder. Go to frame 2 and add the update command, and at frame 3 add the display command. Now while we are still in the Loop Sponsors Timeline tab, let's add another event node that will keep the Timeline tab looping. Move the cursor down to the 5 second mark, click Activation, and select Loop Sponsors from the available transitions. And finally, change the event tree name to something that is easier to understand. So I'll name this one Loop the Sponsors and record this scene to number three. Now press the play button and you will see the Dell logo animate onto the screen and five seconds later it will change to the Ford logo and so on. Okay, so this is working so far. The final command is to let the system know when to start going through the logos again when they've all been displayed. 
To do that, we will need to set a trigger. The trigger command is not directly tied to the timeline, so it does not matter where the trigger is added. Click the trigger button, which opens up the trigger data commands. Select the end of data from the list, and from the available events, select data command and click add. Select the move first from the available commands and click add. Close the menu and record this scene to number four. This trigger tells the data object to start over when the last logo has been displayed. Now when we're playing the scene, I want to open up the Sponsor Logos folder and follow through the logos as they advance every five seconds. And you can see now that we are on the IBM logo. And when we get to the Starbucks logo, it should start over again. And it does. So let's stop this and close that. Let's add one more effect to this scene. It seems like it's a little jarring just seeing the logos cut. So by adding a quick fade down and then up will help this. So with the loop sponsors timeline selected, Let's add the group sponsor logo to it. Move the cursor down to five frames and bring the alpha down to zero. So again, at five frames, go to surface properties and bring the alpha down to zero. Now let's move it down to 10 frames and bring the alpha back up to 100. Now originally we told the data object to display at frame three so simply moving that keyframe down to frame 5, the data object will display the next sponsor logo while the alpha is down at 0, and the change will look much better. Record this scene to number 5 and press play. You will now see the sponsor logo for 5 seconds. Quickly fade down and fade up with a new logo. The Dell logo comes on, fades down, fades up, and shows the Ford logo.